What's going on guys, it's Brandon again, and today I'm bringing you a new War Thunder video. In this video, we're going to do a tutorial about how to make custom skins without the use of Photoshop. I'm going to be using a different type of photo editor, one that you don't have to download and it's free to use. However, it's going to use some more steps to get the like camo made and all that, but at least it's free, you don't have to get Photoshop, and it's pretty easy to use. So let's go ahead and get started in this. So first you're going to go to the P38. We're going to use the P38 just for this demonstration in the video. So for the P38, go to customization. And then you're going to have two things, camouflage and user skin. Now user skin is going to have disabled on it, but don't worry about that. We're going to go to the right. It's going to have a little like refresh button. And it's going to have a pen. Go ahead and click the pen. Okay, now it's going to say successfully created sample of working with user skins and it's going to be in the folder user skins. So I'll go ahead and jump over and show you guys how to navigate to that folder really quick. Okay, now for the next step, finding the file. Okay, go to your local disk, go to program files times 86 and now this is where things get a bit different. Now if you have it downloaded, if you have War Thunder downloaded from the War Thunder website, then it's going to be in the War Thunder folder which is right here. And it should say like user skins or something along those lines, but obviously I don't have it here because I have War Thunder download downloaded through Steam. So we're going to go to Steam, uh, Steam apps, common, and then War Thunder. Okay, it's going to be under user skins. Now I have more templates in here because I have made more skins for my planes. So go to the P38G. Okay, now, for the full plane, like the full customization of the plane, it's usually going to be the first one, which this one's P underscore 38G underscore C dot TGA. Now, this is going to be the one that you are going to want to convert to a PNG file. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy this, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy this to my desktop. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave it right here. And then I'm going to link you guys to the website where you're going to convert the web, uh, convert the file, so I will see you over there. Okay, so now we are on the converter website, so what you're going to want to do is go to choose file. And I put my TGA file into my skins folder, so I'm just going to go ahead and choose that file. And then you're going to come down here and click convert file. So basically what it's doing is it's converting it to a PNG file that the software can basically use to recognize it, which is PNG, which is a picture file basically, so <laughs> it's going to take a second to load here. And then once it's done downloading, go ahead and move it to your desktop or somewhere that you know that you'll be able to find it. So basically it's just a... It's just a picture file. There you go. It's going to look like the P38 Lightning, the standard one. And it's got all the little places that you can edit and everything along those lines. So now I'm going to go ahead and link you guys to the editor that we are going to use. So go ahead and check down the description and click on that. Okay, so now we are on Pixlr.com. Pixlr is basically like Photoshop, except it's a browser photo editor, which is a really nice one at that. So when you open it up, it's going to kind of look like this, that, or it's just going to have a file indicator up at the top left. So go ahead and click open image from computer. And then pick the PNG file that you just downloaded, that you just converted, basically. And it's going to look something like this. So here you will be able to edit, create your own user skin, and everything that you want to do with the user skins, basically. So just a, for example, just a short little quick example. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make the engines on the regular, or the rotors anyway, whatever you want to call them, on the P38, the standard one, red. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that, do that, and then I'm going to go up to file, I'm going to save, and then, wait for it, I'm going to rename it to just like 1, 2, 3 at the very end, okay, so then you're going to save it as a PNG, go ahead and save it, I'm just going to save it right back to my skins folder and then save. So now we are going to move back to the PNG to TGA conversion. That way we can put it back into the folder and actually display the skin onto the lightning. So let's go ahead and hop over there and I'll see you guys over there in a second. 
Okay, so this is the last website that I need to link you guys to. It's the same website, just a different converter. Convert image to TGA, so basically your PNG to TGA. Go ahead and choose the file that you just edited in Pixlr, which is the PNG that you renamed at the very end. So I'm going to go ahead and choose it. And then I'm going to go ahead and convert the file. So it's basically the same exact steps as last time. You're just retracing your steps backwards, basically. So wait for that to go. This one will download pretty fast. Just bear in mind the TGA file is a bit large, well, large, kind of, for its skin. 16 megabytes, not all that big. And wait for that. Okay, so this is your final TGA file that you are going to need. So what you're going to want to do, after you get this and you download it, put it somewhere that you know that you'll remember. <laughs> And what you're going to want to do is go back to your original user skins folder, which was in the program files times 86, either in your War Thunder file, which you downloaded from WarThunder.com, or in your Steam folder if you downloaded War Thunder from Steam. So just go ahead and navigate back to your user skins folder, and then go to P38G, if that's what you're using. And then remember, it's going to be the first file at the very top. So what you're going to want to do is remember that name, P underscore 38G underscore C. And I'll go ahead and help you remember that in just a second. Go ahead and delete that. And the PNG file that you just converted now to TGA, go ahead and drag that into the user skins template folder for the P38. And then rename it. Not the whole thing, just remember, rename it to P underscore 38G underscore C. Dot TGA. So again, that's P underscore 38 G underscore C dot TGA. And that's basically all you have to do. So let's go ahead and go to the actual War Thunder game and see if that worked. So here we are back in game. So we are looking at the P38. Now go ahead and navigate back to the customization tab for the P38 in here. Again, it's going to say camouflage standard, user skin disabled still. Now what you're going to want to do is hit the little refresh button. Now go to disabled, hit the drop down, and then click user template underscore P-38G. And there you have it. The red little engines at the end here. So that's basically all that you have to do. These steps do fly by a lot faster once you get once you get the hang of it. It's just kind of time consuming to explain it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, then go ahead and leave me a comment down in the comment section. <laughs> I'll go ahead and link all those websites to you. So I hope this helped you guys. Again, if you have any questions, just go ahead and ask me. But I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Brandon, and as always, have a nice day.